Fantastic, and Fantastic, and today I'm going to be playing with my sweet Cyrus body team in Hephaestus Dragon Descended. So, the general idea of this dungeon is that you want to have lots of damage. It's not so important about survivability to a certain extent because basically most of the things just are very tanky and you can, to a certain extent, side skirt around mechanics. Now, you can easily replace Cyrus body from... Well, so you can easily play Cyrus Valley with any other glass cannon leader, and basically you just pound through the dungeon, and the quote-unquote requirements would be more so having like a Raphael-style um, damage mitigation, and a delay, so I'm using my Sun Quan as the delay. Basically those are for floor 2 for the dancing around component, so everything else should be very doable at this point. So I'm going to hop right in, and because Mantastic is taking the first turn, I do have to either set up the board, a little bit or pass my turn, whatever works better. So this board is actually very heavy for, um, what's it called? This board is actually very heavy in terms of active, wait. Actually, I could just use my Hermes here and not really care. Do I have enough orbs to separate them? I do, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could do this. Actually, I'm just gonna use Hermes here, and it's okay. I do. I just basically use a different active skill on the next turn. So, so this will give me my maximum damage. It's gonna be enough to sweep the floor. More than enough. So punches through. Like, like I said, high damage is great. Now, I do have Karen with God Killer and Dragon Killer on the other side, but I don't, like, it's going to be more meaningful on Hippo Dragon itself. So, I am simply going to make one combo. It doesn't actually matter because I'm, gonna, I'm back on track now, basically. Instead of the passing, I'm out on the correct person's turn, and now I'm going to pop the Raphael and simply dance. So, Here's Raphael, here's the dance. I'm not gonna die for two turns, so this is a little easy to deal with. And then... Nothing happened once again. And now I'm back on track, and the show is over, but... He has 25 million health, but with my and two and 50% damage reduction. So what I'm doing is actually going to pop Sun Quan to delay, and then blue sign for the board. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I have 14 orbs. That is a very awkward amount. Shoot, I don't remember how my bicolor boards work now for this number. Yeah, I don't remember, so I'm just going to make sure I make enough. This should be enough damage, like I said. Like, I am playing a glass cannon leader for the most part. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I've knocked it down to one health, and basically I have all my active skills on Fantastic ready, and I don't really have to worry too much, because as long as Fantastic does not get delayed, I'm going to be fine. So there are two options. You can either pass here if you didn't pass already, or make zero combos. You don't want to kill it with Fantastic side. You want to kill it with, um, your side with Raphael, so I'm just going to simply make zero combos. Might as well preserve that pass turn. Why not? And then I simply kill like this. It pings it down for, it has one health, so it ping, ping, ping. Apollo dies. And now I enter the final boss floor, and I'm going to get 15 turns skill delayed. However, nothing is important on this side anymore. And my Cyrus bodies get demoted down, but they had various active skills to allow them to have some sort of, uh, what's it called? Some sort of skill delay protection, so I still have base stars body skills. So now I'm facing Hippo Dragon, which is 100 million health, with a 9 times from Karen, and I don't really foresee any problems. I'm going to try and knock it down right away on turn. I can't even use Hermes, actually, because I won't actually have an appropriate board. So that Karen actually failed pretty bad. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm going to make 15 orbs. I couldn't use Hermes there because I would have an inappropriate amount of dark orbs remaining and not be able to actually hit um, three water combos. Okay. Let me think. So really, all that's important is having the rows and the maximum multiplier. I got the skill fall. This is going to one-shot him, and it's going to trigger his resurrection. Because 100 million from Karen, that is just silly. That's pretty amazing, but silly. Alrighty, so on Fantastic side, basically all I need to do is get it below 50%, and then I punch hard once again, and he's dead. So what do I have? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have 9 orbs. I can just do something like this. It doesn't even matter. Like It's going to provide some tickling. It's not going to do very much, but as he's at 50% health plus 1. So now he's tickled under 50. He hits me for some damage. It's not that big of a deal. And now I can pretty much proceed to popping active skills and winning. Is that winning? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 14 again. You know what? I'm going to make it 16 because that's an easier thing to deal with. All right, let's figure out this board. So this is a good board. It's going to easily one-shot him again. I got two glorious rows. I got a skill fall. And it's a relatively straightforward dungeon. Like, I feel of all the Gorilla Radar Dragons out there, it is one of the more straightforward ones out there, just because of the fact that it's just hit fast and hit hard. You can dance around in Floor 2 and easily cheese it. Floor 1, you just punch very hard. So, one nice thing about this is everyone gets access to a Festus Dragon, which is actually a reasonably strong leader. It took me over 100 Arena 3 clears to get my first one, so I'm a little sad that everyone gets one now, but that's just kind of the way the game works. So, like I said, Sardis Body can be easily replaced with any other Glass Cannon style leader, provided you have that damage mitigation component and a delay for Apollo, and everything else is very straightforward. So, hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gives you some inspiration of how to tackle the dungeon without too much cheesing necessarily. Hopefully you all have a fantastic day, and happy puzzling.